HubSpot tutorial for beginners, how to use HubSpot step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with HubSpot. So let's get into it. Now HubSpot is a CRM software that enables you to manage your sales pipelines as well as your marketing pipelines in a simple and easy fashion. Plus, the best part about their software is that it is available for free. Plus, they also have some integrated features which you can get for a higher price. But for all of your basic needs, they do have free tools that will enable you to do all of your basic CRM functions. So to get started with HubSpot, simply click on Get Free CRM on their website and you will be able to go to their registration page. Over here, you're just going to enter your first and last name, or you can continue with Google as well. So I'm just gonna continue with my account because I had previously created one, but we're just gonna go on ahead and click on sign in. So I'm just using my HubSpot code over here, but if you're creating a new account, then you might not need one but after that you can click on create new account with a new user or you can click on continue with this user so i'm just going to continue on with this one and i will continue with this account because i'm just going to show you guys how to set up your own hubspot and i'm going to show you all the features that you have so once you go into HubSpot, this is going to be your dashboard. Now, if you create a new account or your old account, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. And you have to actually link your e-commerce website or store on the top right over here. And if you click on Trial Picker UI, you can choose to hop to trial a specific thing. So uh, you can go on ahead and start a 14-day free trial of any of their specific professional services. But we're here to do our CRM and uh, what kind of tools in terms of CRM do they have? Well. CRM can really entail a lot of things right now. A lot of times marketing comes into CRM, customer, you know, PR management, all of that comes into CRM. But we want to focus on building contacts, building uh, relationships with our customers and getting potential customers such as leads to be converting customers. So for us, uh, it really works in the area of uh, service sales and contact. So if you go ahead and click on the top left over here, you have your contacts over here. And from here, you can manage all of your contacts. So you can click on create contact over here and enter a business timeline for your business, you know, relations as well. And you can see I've added a couple of ones over here. You have multiple different uh, fields and you can also click on edit this form to create more fields that you might want to store more information about. Then you can store companies separately. Maybe you're in contact with several different representatives from a specific company. So let's say you're working with a large fashion brand as their manufacturer. So maybe one person is from their marketing department, one person is from their sales department, so on and so forth. So for that, you can establish companies and then you can also schedule calls on the HubSpot CRM as well. And then you have conversations, which is a very simple way uh, for you to chat with other people on the HubSpot CRM. And you can also send some of your most repetitive emails in their template section in conversation. So you can automate your emails as well, but this is usually a premium feature uh, only on HubSpot. So for this, you will have to upgrade to their premium plans. Then you have marketing now marketing is rather elongated so i'm going to show you guys sales first and then we're going to move on to service and then marketing now in your sales section you have a few things first off you have deals then you have forecast which is a professional feature of hubspot so in your deal section you can click on create deal over here and you can enter the evaluation of a deal the name and the pipeline that it is in the deal stage so let's say we have a decision maker brought in you can enter the amount who is currently handling the deal what kind of deal is it so if it's new business or existing business and how much priority does it have then you can associate the deal with a pre-existing email or you know a previously created contact or company so let's say it's with this company and you can also add a line item as well so in your product section so if you go into your product section in your hubspot crm you can link this to a certain product as well to uh, better able to see at a glance what kind of product this company is looking to buy from you and you can see we have a preview of this deal over here it's money from an investor and this is the type of deal it is you can schedule appointments in this as well you can see the priority, the deal type, when this was last contacted, the companies that are associated, and the 
uh, tickets as well regarding this. So you have line items and you also have things such as payments and tickets. So any of the requests that your customers are going to make are going to be put in the ticket section and then you can resolve your ticketing directly from your CRM. Now, after that, in terms of sales, you have tasks. So you can assign tasks to your uh, fellow employees or, you know, people that are working for you and manage work in a more efficient manner plus you also have different fields of tasks so you have all tasks due today over to upcoming field and you can enter more queues as well so more categorizations of your tasks then you also have things such as documents meetings and quotes now after that you have the services section where you're going to be able to find any of the new tickets that your uh, business partners or your customers have placed from you and you can resolve those from there then you have the automation feature all of the automation features are only available on the premium version and then you have the report sections where you can get a report of how your company has been functioning now moving back to our marketing now in marketing you have ads that you can run you can do some upwards of 1000 emails you can do for free with their email features then you also have landing pages that you can create to further um, redirect people onto your business so these are just some of the key features and key ways that you can get started with HubSpot. It's efficient and it's easy and you can use your sample data to get started as well. Plus, if you click on your top right over here, you can connect a bunch of different apps to the HubSpot CRM. So if I click on Asset Marketplace or uh, App Marketplace, I can integrate other applications with HubSpot as well. So uh, let's say I'm using Google Calendar or I'm using WhatsApp Business, Zapier, um, you know, Outlook Calendar, Zoom, whatever app it might be. You have quite a few different options that you can pick out from and connect with your HubSpot CRM to better efficiently negotiate your deals and manage your customer relations. And the best part about this is that HubSpot starts at a low price of $45 per month for marketing, but we're going to be focusing on sales. So in terms of sales, you can get started at 45 as well. And for CMS, which is everything you need to build your data-driven business, it only starts at $23 per month. So the pricing is relatively uh, low. And in terms of their service hub, it only starts at $45. The professional version starts at $450 and the enterprise version starts at $1,200 per month. But keep that in mind, uh, the more users that you you have for their CRM, the higher your price is. But you also have features such as documentation, meeting scheduling, shared inbox, mobile inbox, ticket pipelines, as well as email templates, can slip it, uh, Slack integrations, and so much more. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question